Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Today we are starting a new series in this channel, which will have a very simple name, EU4 Achievements Speedrun. This means that I'm gonna try getting EU4 Achievements, ideally hard and very hard, as fast as possible, both in game time, but also real time. So be showing me actual time burn, how much it did it take to me. Today for the first episode, we're gonna take Ethiopia, and the Coptic achievement it's having. So without further ado, let's get straight to this. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel to get notified about any future content, especially guys that I can see that only 50% of you are subscribing right now. Here we go. First of all, before I even start the timer, because you can see I got the timer for you, obviously I want to upload the full video to be edited, but you'll be see on top of the screen what is the timer that I was doing the achievement in. I would like to point out one thing. This achievement can be done even easier as in Mam looks, because you just have to flip Coptic and from Ethiopia, easy peasy. But I want to do it as Ethiopia because I just did exact same challenge in Masters Universalis versus Flory Worry. So I did practice this a little bit and I want to use this practice for actual video. Besides that, there's another achievement that you could do as Ethiopia that requires you to also conquer Constantinople. So, you know, using uh, uh, the strategy as Ethiopia could also help you out to go after the Ottomans, but that won't be the goal of today's episode. I want to focus on the Coptic achievement called a blessed nation. I already do have this achievement, so I cannot show it to you here, but this achievement is pretty straightforward. As Coptic achievement control all five holy sites of Coptic. Uh, one we have already in our hands, then there is Cap Ibrim here, Alexandria, Antikia as well as Yerevan, and you have to convert all of them to Coptic. The goal is here to do it in less than 20 years, so without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer. Of course, I'll be slower over here than I was in the Masters Universalis time-wise, because I'll be explaining all of the stuff to you. So let's just start the timer, and uh, let's go ahead uh, with choosing the estate privileges. I'm gonna take a cheaper advisor for admin, I will go ahead and uh, take religious diplomats, then from the nobility you take the midpoint, more manpower, cheaper advisor, as well as a manpower modifier that is uh, strictly for, uh, uh, I think, African nations to neighbor rate, as well as obviously their strong duchies because we're doing a vassal swarm strategy for war against the Mamluks. Then here are the diplo points, uh, prestige, cheaper advisor, as well as the one personals. Good. Good, let me go ahead and summon the diet. None of them is good, so I probably won't be doing that. As for the Coptic fate, we are gonna pick a blessing, so one of the bonuses for controlling uh, actual holy site. We'll start with the missionary strength, that's gonna be the key for the conversion. Then choose rivals, that can be always Adal and Azure, and sometimes you can only do Adal, I don't know how it depends on. <sighs> missionary strength, very good. Uh, then also Spy Network guy as well as the discipline guy here. Let me focus on build points because we'll be focusing on pushing towards our enemies. Then we'll need to uh, get some armies, 2000 of Kava units and a free company. Get leaders, most, okay, one siege leader is good and that will allow me to wait right now. Royal marriage, improve relations because we have a mission to improve relations with both 250. Let's just start the count, and as soon as we get the free company, attach them to the main stack and start fighting here. Take the mission, which is uh, claims on the guys around here in the south. We also have a mission that allows us to get free course on Medibari, so I'll go here, take the encourage development, and focus uh, spending with Arvin and uh, Diplo points. And with one more death click, uh, we'll get the mission, and that will be saving us. Uh, I'll probably do it with Diplo points or probably admin points even, because I won't be spending much admin mana, you'll see why in one second. With the rebels crushed, I can go ahead and start reoccupying this province, while taking my whole army south to fight. At the same time, my beloved vassals, please start being siege focused, and I will immediately also start improving my relations with Damot. To improve my relations uh, faster, I remember I need to get them to 150, I'll change here uh, the trading policy to improve relations, and let me go ahead and attack uh, Janjiro. That should be an instant wipe. And by the way, to also get the installations higher, enable diver trade, enable diver trade. That also improves relations, besides, of course, increases my income. So, 148 and 58, because it's 82 to 171. Very easy, that's another mission here. 
not to get me one stability, that's why I did not boost my stability manually. Another mission here for some additional modifiers. Why the armies here? Oh my god, this battle is so bad, I couldn't even wipe them, but I wiped them because they had nowhere to run away to because of my fort. Kafalite Alodia. And uh, these two guys did not ally anyone. So we just go and declare war on these guys as well. On the fort, I'll leave uh, one stack and go and wipe them. Idly, my vassals should start sieging this down. Both of these two nations, because they both have uh, 4,000 or 3,000 3, troops. Good. With this done, I will go and focus first on Velaita. Velaita? Yeah, Velaita, that's how it is uh, called. Declare and instantly try wiping them as well. Just shift consolidate before we reach there so my armies will be fighting with the full strength. I don't think I'll be wiping them in the first battle, but the good thing is they'll run away the promised snakes by Sidamo. They're not running away to Sidamo. Where are you running away oh, to? No. Anyway, let me just uh, leave uh, 1k here and go to Velaita. For now, let's just declare on Kaffa. Take uh, Gambela. I'll try wiping them as well, but if I don't wipe them, they will be running away north. Why did this 1k has to run away, please? One wipe on smaller stack. I see that they're attacking me in, in the BIA, but I can just do this and run away. Here, oh, I can wipe them, I think. It's gonna be close, yes. Thank you so much. Uh, the wipe is done. So here, I'm just thinking what will be the best, the best thing to do. I think I'll just leave uh, two zero k stacks to start occupying these two provinces so they won't build anything. These guys are getting wiped. Good. And I'm gonna focus on fighting Alodia in the meantime. You can see that I'm on pretty much not pausing my recording because I want to put most of it in actual video. You go here, I can split these guys and stand here. And I'll try fighting with the stack of Alodia now. Just shift consolidate, shift consolidate. That should be an easy battle, I believe. Not a wipe, probably. But if I win here and go straight to Soba, that's where they're running away to, I could wipe them in Soba. You can see Enera is now down. So I hope that these 4000 will go to Velaita. That's exactly what they are doing. And uh, maybe just leave the smaller stack. Or maybe you want, as soon as they get here, let's just go to the promise. Thanks, my occupy it. And let's see, can I wipe them? I think the wipe is very much possible, Mr. Soba. I just need good rolls. Yeah, with zero to three, I don't think I'll wipe them, which is fine. Let's see what they're running away. The thing is, I'm not pissing out anyone right now separately because... Are they running away to Fazugli? I'm not I at the rank there. Because I need to get these guys to 150 relations first and I want to release all of these guys as vassals. I won't be calling any promise for myself besides Kaffa. And uh, by the way, Damot has two siege leaders, so that's very much uh, useful. With uh, Alodia wiped, I can go ahead and start carpet siege event so they won't recruit any new troops and uh, start occupying Soba. In the meantime, uh, Aksum, let's just uh, dive it one more time, which will unlock me the mission that I told you. There we go. That means three cores here to conquer it a little bit quicker. They allied to Alodia as well, so I can actually, while still fighting, easily go ahead. See, minus 14%, 14%, this will take more time. Just attack them. Try immediately wiping their army. If I can succeed with this... Oh yeah, I think that should be a wipe. If I can succeed with this, I don't think it's gonna be a wipe. Then... Yeah. I'll peace out these guys around the same time as the other nation. Five force at the same time is busy, guys. Now you can see we're perfectly timed. We've finished all of the sieges, and we are about to get a hand fifty relations here in the next month. A helping hand, thank you so much. Thanks to which, yes, there it goes. We can go ahead and take this mission, which is uh, gonna make all of our future subjects loyal, hopefully, and it also gives us claims all around here. So, time to start pissing out. Let's start with Kaffa. Take all of these princes for ourselves. Go further. These guys. Take this for ourselves. It's for ourselves right now, but long term it's not gonna be for ourselves. Take all this free. This is gonna be for ourselves because we had cores over there. And uh, these boys. Take. And the last one is gonna be Janjiro. All the war is finished. Now that's another mission here. And uh, I can go ahead and start 
we'll take in this as well. Start releasing vassals. So we're gonna release uh, Janjiro. We are gonna release Velaita. We are gonna release uh, Enarea. And that's gonna be it. At the same time, let's just go and start uh, reducing war exhaustion. Oh, let's just start coring everything. And uh, can I add this to state right away? Please do add it to state right away. Cancel the edict and start building spine network on uh, the Mamluks. I should have started doing that earlier. Set the merchant here, I couldn't do that earlier. And as soon as the merchant is here, it will allow me to get the spine network construction. So I'm gonna get uh, spine network Mamluks a bit faster. I cannot slow down. And uh, this is why I will have to uh, retake the loans. One, two, three, four. Uh, repay our 1% loans, you can see they are smaller, and take the bigger loans, so this way you have some more funds. And uh, I will go attack uh, Beja. See, now, before we attack Mamluks, we have to get to 150 development. Why 150? Because on every nation, when getting 150 development, is unlocking independent company and a grand company. So huge merc stacks that are crucial for the war, like the one that I'm gonna do. And um, why don't we go and start seeing the all allied someone, which is not very helpful for us, especially the adult, but this is fine. What I can do is uh, cancel this and start designating marches, because I want all of these guys to be super helpful in the wars, besides Damot, because Damot, I'll need to annex it later, you'll see, for the missionary. So, let's turn on this fort, maybe give these nations a bit time to build up, well, let's give them a month and I'll go ahead attacking uh, Beja. Focus on wiping their army. Yes, this 7000 here. Remember, you guys uh, focus on sieging. Wipe their army. Come on. It's not even a wipe. Oh, see, these guys are uh, not performing too well. And I'll go and find Adel. To separate piece them while these guys will be sitting down. This is really unlucky that Adal allied them. Usually Alal is not interfering. That's gonna slow us down a little bit. But it's not enough to really hurt us. Oh, I can just before the battle take the technology. Which might even help us wiping this 11,000 here with a bit of luck, yes. Which should allow us to white piece them. Oof, really close, but unfortunately not. And let's go and uh, keep taking her. To not waste time in having adult really annoying here, I'll go ahead and attack Dongola to also start occupying their provinces in the meantime and not waste any time. At least my spy network on uh, the Mamluks is increasing really fast, so it should be fairly easy to uh, get it high before the war. With Kaffa being court, I can state it, fully state it, get the development cost, and starting this with my Diplo points uh, up to 10 as soon as I get enough of it. At last, Adele, thank you so much. I'll actually take these two provinces just, uh, or, or maybe not, just so Mamluks won't try crossing here. Let's take these two provinces and some money. Thank you so much. By the way, I should also improve autonomy in any province that is not my state, just to avoid troubles. And that also allows us to go and uh, peace out the other boys, so Beja. And you'll see that right now I have 153 development, which will be enough to start recruiting the uh, merits that I was mentioning earlier. Just of course, before I even do that, I have to piss out Dongola, or uh, I, yeah, I want to piss out Dongola to increase, to decrease my autonomy in Kaffa to earn a little bit more from gold. You can see Grand Company, Independent Company are now available, so our goal is achieved. And I'm, I'm around one year behind because of Adel, but this is fine. There we go with Dongol, I can't fully annex them, but it's fine. I can just uh, leave one province around here, take money. I want to release another vassal, uh, just I need to think what exactly. Why don't we actually release Asap also here? And also, I didn't even know we can release it here. And make it another marsh. The more marshes you have, the more armies uh, helping from our subjects. Uh, let me first go ahead here and uh, sell titles to Switzerland to keep up of 10 and get more money. Uh, decrease autonomy in Kaffa and uh, increase autonomy in these few provinces. Uh, thanks to this, I can go ahead and recruit an independent company, grant company, and a free company. 
and I think I will anyway first attack uh, uh, Makuria. Unfortunately, they have some allies here, but it's fine. I'll change this stack to ask my vassals to attach to it. So it's gonna be walking around with my vassals. Maybe let's take the guy with uh, Siege. While the guys with Mercs, so there's three stacks here, they will be focusing on fighting the battles. That's why they're gonna take the 4-4 leader. In any case, I can go ahead and attack Mamluks. See, Yemen won't be able to join because they're at war with uh, Makuria. Remember, for Makuria, I only need one province. I don't have to fully next them, so the war might be a bit faster. Now look, thanks to the fact that I'm using all of these subjects, I have plenty of more troops than the Mamluks. So the war should be fairly straightforward. Fight one more Merc stack to attach to this, the guys here. We can just go there. We can just go there. And to empower troops, can go and join these boys here. Just so for all of the vassals, change to supportive. The Merc stack would be right away sent to Kyra, but go this way to sa start sieging this down while I'm waiting for my vassals to start attaching to this free company. See that I'm attacking the 16,000 right away. So just, I think I should be winning it easily, just in case I'm starting to go with the other stacks, in case they have something hidden uh, around here, but they don't. They don't, that's why they just got crushed. Go to Kyra. Uh, these guys will be uh, going straight to Iskandria. My main power stack will be slowly carpet in Egypt. Oh, you see, they are attacking me here. So let's just leave 3000 Kyra to keep the siege. Ooh, because I went this way, I can't really reinforce it. But I can reinforce it with this 9000, uh, which would be on time. And with my vassals coming, it's an easy win, but I wasted a bit of resources on this battle, unfortunately. This fort is down. Can I piece them out already? I can. It's just 7% war score. Please do so and start calling the province to then convert it a bit easier. See, that's why I told you that it's battle time a bit behind, because Mamluks already did take the tech 4, and this is because the lure is different. They got a 4 mil rule. I think by default they have like 2, and they have 47,000 troops. So this war won't be easy uh, but at the same time don't worry with oh, look they have more troops than us at this point we'll have to handle this somehow at least i managed to bridge wars in a uh, kyra and that's why i'm gonna right away start rushing this down because this is the uh, key fort in this war scorch earth and start running away with this stack because we will have to start getting ready to fight around here and look how tight it is how many troops they have around have to play it very smart now do it by trying to catch more stacks while scorching some earth around so let's go and start yeah see they are running away and this is good this is good this is good we just have to uh, catch the right stacks but they are playing it smart they are playing it really smart let's start with this one battle here yes we're using our super superior army cooler here to win the battle, follow up with another battle here, hopefully a stack wipe, we need stack wipes here to win this. This is very good, 5000 notched. I'm gonna send uh, this one stack to go and receive the, the war goal, while at the same time I'll be using the manpower stack to kind of position everything around here. Remember, this siege is slow, this siege is faster, so let's just take our time and regain the war goal. Diplomatic annexation goes will be of big use, because as soon as I finish my war with the Mamluks, I'll start annexing Damot. Obviously we're going so hard that I'm on minus 30 of balance, but this is just fine and I calculate it. Now let's see how we're gonna do in a battle against these boys here. In the meantime, wiped notched, which is good news. These guys have to come back to the front line now. I've killed so many of them already. Uh, attacking these guys, slowly uh, reinforcing with more. And reinforcing with more. That should be an easy battle. Thank you so much. Where the hell are you running away? <gasps> Okay, I think it's just... Okay, one stack. Where are the others running away? Could be worth following up. And that's why I'm gonna just send uh, the stack with my subjects to Dimashk. While the other troops are gonna go and pursue these guys. They're uh, just running away this way. Oh, uh, and in any case, this stack will be helpful to deal with Kaffa. <laughs> Told you, with 100 spy network on them, we have 20% uh, uh, of siege ability. And I can go and rush Dimash because we managed to bridge the walls here. And remember, I'm just using manpower of my vassals. Oh, we've lost to Kaffa rebels. Uh, this is bad news. From Dimash, I also got some army professions, so that's more manpower for us. 
and we still missed, oh, they just allied so many guys, we need far more Warscom than normally to piece this out. A bit unfortunate, but they got uh, Noble Rebels, which breached the walls immediately in Kyra, that's why I have to go and rush this back. One well, good news is that uh, Mamluks are down to 10,000 troops. Let's just ACP find these rebels here before they siege this down, that's gonna be a lot of resources wasted to fight this. Uh, I guess this is what you have to do, because this is a key province in this war. And I believe if we win a couple of more battles, and siege down maybe Halap, I should be able to piece out the Mamluk system. Maybe we can even wipe them in a battle here. Uh, it's close, but not really. You know, normally with uh, all of these provinces occupied and 20% war score from winning battles and another 10 from uh, taking war score, I will be able to piece them out. But because we have Hijaz here, we have Natch and we have Yemen, and we have even Fezan, oh, this is decreasing the war score a lot. So we have to conquer more provinces to piece this out. Well, in the meantime, I can go ahead and take the tech 5, which should be even uh, easier to find the battles and get some more wipes. I'll change my unit types because this is the, I think the best unit type is the African ones in this technology. Uh, just before the month tick, because it decreased my morale a lot, but after the month tick it's gonna recover a bit. By the way, here, uh, let's just fully state it. Uh, this culture is accepted, so it's gonna help a lot. Start the conversion 34 months, well, not bad, but if I go to clergy and take the missionary strength uh, from here, You'll see that uh, this is gonna be in fact 25 months. And if I take another missionary strength from here, it's gonna cause more rebels, but at the same time, this will just take 20 months. But if I also state it, it will take. Uh, see, it's colonial call. It will take like 15 months, 14 months. One oopsie that I know right now that I did, I should have started building Spinedrock on uh, QQ long time ago to have it similar to the war with the Mamluks is, like stacked at a high number. I'm gonna just finally start building this up now. In the meantime, let's just go and piece out the Mamluks. Uh, I'm going to take all of these promises. No Alexandria, I'm gonna truce break them for that later. Antikia, as is an um, actual religious center and uh, a border with QQ. Uh, take some money on top of that. It's just perfect. And um, now, I have to right away start annexing the subject. Let me just cancel this. Uh, maybe just make a claim just in case I don't get it from the mission, but I should get it from the mission close. And uh, I'm gonna start coring all of these provinces while at the same time increasing the autonomy everywhere. The annexation itself is gonna take ah, just two years, so it should be easy peasy. And uh, we got a keep doing spine network on the Mamluks just to get the good siege ability on our next war. In case that the money situation might seem like, ooh, Slavik, you're gonna go bankrupt soon, you have 16 out of 28 thrones. Uh-uh, you'll see what I have planned. Just, you know, knowing I have so many rebels upcoming around here, uh, I have to recruit. Let's just take all of the loans so I know how much money I have, okay? This is more than enough. I, what I can do actually is just go and repay as many loans as possible because you can see all these loans are very little. So, then I can go ahead and take the same loans again. But right now I have two and a half thousand ducats, which will allow me to go and recruit um, a Nubian company, which will be dealing with these rebels around here. We just got warned by the Ottomans, but I can't even see them. <laughs> but uh, at least I can just easily go and attack Q. And even if I attack Mamluks, you see Ottomans will actually join. Normally they didn't want to join, because they hate Mamluks. Well, I have uh, to deal with that somehow, it's not a problem. Let's just go and in the meantime declare the war on the QQ here. More of armies is gonna be definitely useful, and this is what you get when you converge this to your religion. That means I have another bonus here, which is gonna be ah, the discipline. This is funny, I think this is the first time that I'm seeing in any runs that I did, that Ottomans did not drive on Mamluks. And this is why they warned us, and this is why they're gonna help Mamluks when I truce break them, which is breaking our strategy a lot, and it's another very unlucky thing that we got in this run. It's fine, we're gonna manage this. And I think it's even better we're getting so many unlucky stuff in this run, because uh, that's gonna be even easier for you to complete it once you try it yourself because it should be far easier than this. Integration of Damod is something uh, game-changing here. Let me tell you why. I can go, for it's a gold mine, but if I dev it to 6, but I'm gonna dev it uh, even higher on purpose, you'll see that I'll get a mission here, which is giving local goose plus minus 1 to both, decreasing autonomy to 0, 
and guard from progress, which just means I can take the tax meta here. Yes, the tax meta. And uh, my gold income is right now 22. And if we wait a month tick, why do I got a stack from them here? I'll just use it to get rid of this one to fight the Mamluk soon. But more importantly, you'll see that my loan cap will increase from 28 loans at this right now. So all I just took to 62 loans. More importantly, if I go to burgers and take the control of the monetary policy, so another interest per annum, you'll see that uh, my loan cap is actually 70 right now. So if I go and take all of the loans that I can, just to know what are my possibilities, you see that I have actually 7,000 ducats to spend. That's why I'll go and take Defender of Faith already. Uh, so we'll be getting ready to converse two sides at the same time. And uh, I will be getting ready for the war against the Mamluks soon as well. Now, Mr. QQ, you're very close to be pissed out. I just need to probably siege them a few more provinces, maybe not even a fort. Well, I siege them the fort anyway, so let's just go and peace them out. This peace deal uh, gives us third converted holy site. So now we are only left uh, with two, Alexandria and Antikia. Uh, this will be a problem, as told you, because we'll have to fight the Ottomans over it. They have 37,000 troops. But it's fine, I'm just gonna get ready and go full all in for that. By the way, also 116 overextension, which is hurting us. But as soon as I call provinces from Alex from Mamluks here, I'll go and attack them. Because remember, right now, if I truce break them, that will pause my coring. I think for this Mercs, uh, in the band company still has manpower. Okay, they both have manpower, they just have to recover. Now, another trick that I'll do is uh, I'll hire the uh, guy for Unrest, which will give me a decision here for additional missionary strength. So let's just take it. And then uh, in a couple of days, I'll hire the missionary strength guy back. Now, if my provinces here court, I can go and state this. Uh, fully state Aleppo, change my state edict to enforce religious unity, which means that I'm gonna convert this just in 17 months. This is good. Now we can uh, go ahead and start preparing for the war of the Ottomans, which means I'm gonna get another stack here. Bedouin auxiliaries, these two stacks will be fighting with uh, around here, Dimash and Halap. Is it paid? They both paid. And how about Kaira? It's also paid because they at war. Who are you fighting? Shamar, yeah. Let's just go and declare on them why these boys are going from the south. So, Mr. Mamluks, it's gonna be conquest now of what? Let's go for Suakim because it's gonna, it's gonna be hard for them to reoccupy. That's, of course, gonna hurt us a lot with the stability, but I have all of the loans taken already, so it doesn't really matter. To make the conversion here even faster, I could state this and accept the Sicilian card. Now it's just gonna finish exactly when? In November 1459. Let's see, first battle against the Ottomans. Are they still the same technology as us? Yes, they are. Let's go reinforce it in Dimashk. Uh, they got almost baited to attack me there. Uh, let's just go and do this. Send this one stack here, so I won't lose my progress on the siege. Why myself, uh, I'll go ahead and attack them. And start. Ooh, that's a long way. But I'll start reinforcing myself there. Let's see the stats 4.2, 3.5 morale. So we have even the better discipline. But we've got worse rolls. Uh, yes, come on, uh, reinforce this. Am I winning that without reinforcements? I am winning that without reinforcements, which is good. This is, this is all fine. See that I'm crashing the Ottomans and told you. This, what is happening here is extremely unlucky. This does not happen in any of the runs. The freaking Ottomans do not rival Mamluks, but that's good, told you. That's good, we are gonna take it to show you that we can even win it in an impossible challenge. Because, you know, in any case, to piece this out, I only need 13% work. I don't think anything else. Normally, you just take Kyra, carpet siege a few, and that's, that's it. But with the Ottomans in, it's gonna be a bit harder. But thankfully, I just breach walls in Kyra. Let me just try rushing this uh, right away. See, yeah, I should be able to do it easily. This is 11 war score already. See, we're just a few reasons behind to, to take this down. So just go and keep the carp siege going. I'm getting engaged here, which is fine. <sighs> Not that fine, because I have a long way to reinforce this. Uh, ideally, I should avoid fighting this. But if I have to fight this, I'll fight this. Just get everyone in. I scorched earth here. Just to be able to reinforce the battle. That's gonna be tough to reinforce. 
don't reinforce. Scatter all of these guys, we just have to wait, like win one or two battles and that's gonna be it. Well, Dimash is down. 40, 48 reasons. Freaking Ottomans. At least Antioch is already Coptic. So I can go and take another bonus. We only left with Iskandria. I think we are done. Freaking Ottomans. Only Iskandria for us. Uh, that's all I need. I need to state this. Uh, here it doesn't really matter what I take. And uh, for Iskandria itself. It won't be that easy to convert. You can see 59 months. Because I won't be fully stating it. But... You see, once again, as soon as I core this, that we have a nice trick to fix that. Good best Alexandria. We should, by the way, uh, remove some of our stacks just to not go bankrupt too quickly. You can see uh, we are losing 78 ducats monthly. With this province court, just take a look. I can state this. Uh, cancel Nubian and accept Egyptian culture, thanks to which Alexandria will be called in May 1462, so in just a bit more than one year from now. Ah, I just unlocked Biblica Sabbath reform, so even faster, it's gonna be finished in March 1462. This is it, guys, the last promises right now. Converted March 1462 is okay. I, I didn't tell you that, but in my test runs, the fastest I got it was a very beginning of 1459. That's what we would probably achieve if not a few unlucky things that happen in this run, which is completely fine, it sometimes happens, and as told you, thanks to this, I was able to show you how to achieve this super speedrun achievement, even in the worst circumstances. So if I can do it in the worst circumstances, you can easily do it in a bit easier circumstances. So for today, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you do enjoy this series, remember to leave a like on it, and let me know in the comments what other achievement you'd like me to hunt and get as fast as possible. I'm open for any suggestions, even for achievements that, that I already have, like for example this one. For today, thank you so much for watching. Remember, just remember, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content and would like to get notified about it. And I'm gonna see you very, very soon. Bye.